Hi, welcome back to Brix's channel. In this video, I'll open a number of dynamic blocks in BricsCAD, activate various grips and analyze the behavior. So let's get started. In this drawing, there are some dynamic blocks which are created with some parameters and actions are associated with these parameters. Now I'll select each block, activate grips and check whether they are functional. I'll select this table chair block you can see a flip grip. I'll just click on that. Now that's working. Now I'll click on this door block. I'll click on this grip. You can see that it is functional and it is getting flipped about the vertical axis. This is another flip grip and it is getting flipped about the horizontal axis. In this table chair block, there is a rotate grip. I'll activate this grip and move the mouse and you can see that that grip is functional. Next, I'll click on this car block. There is a visibility grip. I'll just click on that. I have a list of various types of cars. I'll click on the first one. Now it is getting changed. Likewise, you can click on any desired option and you can see that the visibility grip is functional and it renders perfectly fine in Briggs CAD. I'll click on the dynamic block of this bolt. We have a number of grips. When I click on the visibility grip, you can see that it's working fine. And here I have a stretch grip. I'll click on this grip and move the mouse rightward and you can see that it is getting stretched at incremental length which is defined in this dynamic block. Next I'll click on this table chair block and here I have a number of grips. I'll just click on the grip and drag my mouse and you can see that it is not only getting stretched but the chair is also getting arrayed along the horizontal axis. So the stretch action and the array action is functional. Now there is another grip over here that is called the lookup grip. I'll click on the various options specified. I'll click on 6-seater. It becomes a 6-seater chair. When I click on 10-seater, it becomes a 10-seater. Now I'll come back to 2-seater. Hence, by activating the lookup grip, you can choose any desired option and get the corresponding results. So the lookup action is also functional. Now I'll click on this window block. And over here, there's a grip. I'll click on this grip and this is called a block table grip. Over here, various options are defined. I'll click on 50. The size of the window got changed. Now I'll click on 75. It is changed to the corresponding size. This is 300 and the size of the window got changed again. Hence, by activating the block table grip, you can get any desired result. Next, I'll click on this table chair dynamic block. There is a grip over here. I'll click on that. And when I move my mouse, you can see that it is a scale grip. The block is getting scaled at incremental values. So the scale grip in a dynamic block is also functional in BricsCAD. Now we have tested most of the commonly used parameters and actions in a dynamic block in BricsCAD. And such a block renders perfectly fine in the software. Now it's clear that a dynamic block can be opened in BricsCAD. We can activate various grips and get full functionality. In BricsCAD, we have a better and smarter replacement for dynamic blocks, that is parametric blocks. Until we meet again with more information on parametric blocks, bye for now. Thanks for your time. Download BricsCAD now and start your free 30-day trial at Brixis.com.